Okay, if you guys knew the level of struggle I have been going through tonight with this, uh, uh, you would be very proud of me. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on the Coaster Focus channel. Um, I just want to start out this video by saying thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. Now, like, that is pretty awesome. We're getting close to 1,000, um, and I felt like... Um, throughout the you know hundred milestones, I haven't really made a lot of videos saying thank you for that. So I decided on this one to go ahead and make a Q and A. You know we're hitting a milestone very early in the 2021 season, so might as well go ahead and make a video on that. But we've already hit uh, 721 subscribers at the time I'm recording this video since since I uploaded the Q and A announcement at 600 subscribers. So I'm going to be going down the list of those and be reading your questions. Um, I didn't get a ton of questions from a bunch of different people, but I did get a few people that I'll shout out during the video who gave me multiple questions and I'll be answering all of theirs as well. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. Question number one is from a guy that you guys are very familiar with if you watch my channel quite a bit, that Intamin guy or Justin. Um, he's been in a lot of my videos and he says, will dance party commence again at Hollywood Nights this year? Asking for a friend. And so if you're not familiar with what um, dance party is, uh, it's a joke between me, Justin and Bennett, both guys you've seen on my channel a lot. And I'll play it right here. That happened last year on one of our trips when we were at my house. So um, Dan's party, while it might not happen at my house again, it's definitely gonna happen at some point this year. Dan's party will never die. Next question here is actually kind of a multiple layered question um, from GP Coasters, also Jimmy. You've seen him in some of my videos as well, Six Flags Over Georgia and Hollywood Nights from last year. Um, and he says, what is your favorite coaster channel and why is it GP Coasters? What made you decide to learn more about roller coasters and become an enthusiast is the first big question. Um, so the first question uh, for that, uh, you know, I've grown up going to Holiday World. I've gone to Holiday World my entire life. Um, I usually brag about the fact that I've ridden Voyage every year since it's been built in 2006. Um, I've grown up at Holiday World. It's been my home park my entire life, and I have been going there since 2006. So when I really became an enthusiast was in 2014 when they announced um, the Thunderbird. They announced and released the video announcing that Thunderbird was going to be built the next year. And I was so excited just to have a steel coaster coming to uh, my park, home park. And I really didn't know all about it. So I really wanted to learn. I really wanted to know what a BNM was. I really wanted to know what an LSM launch was. So, I, you know, I kind of just started looking up. And I found channels that you guys are familiar with, like uh, Coaster Studios. And um, I just kind of started learning about coaster stuff like that. And then I just started traveling a lot in uh, 2018. So yeah. The next question from Jimmy is what inspired you to become a content creator? So I don't want to give too much information about my old channel because I did used to have an old channel back in the day. Um, I don't necessarily want people finding it out. It's kind of cringe. Um, but I did have a gaming channel back in the day when I was in middle school through high school. Um, it was a fun time. I really enjoyed making videos. It's kind of where I found my passion for making videos, not just on the video games, but also, you know, just using my camera out and about being able to make videos and do whatever I want on those. I found a really big passion there that I didn't realize I had until I started YouTube back in like 2014. Then that channel kind of died off um, and I started focusing more on coasters and coaster focus. And then the channel came around and, um, you know, I used the name coaster focus kind of, it's kind of a play on words. I'm focused on riding coasters, also cameras focus. So I kind of just combined that all together. That's where my name came from. That kind of answered another question that wasn't even asked. Um, but yeah, I've just, you know, I've really enjoyed making videos and I decided to share my coaster experiences as well. So here I am. Next question we have here is from Thrill Seekers and Hellraisers, another guy you've definitely seen on the channel, Bill from um, Hollywood Nights Vlogs. Um, shout out to him. He was also on my Strickers Grove vlog. Um, 
So he says, what was my first credit ever? And, you know, for my answer earlier, I've been to Holiday World since, you know, I was little, very little. And my very first roller coaster was Raven at Holiday World in 2006. The worst coaster I've ever ridden is probably, hands down, Goliath at Six Flags New England. I know that it used to be good as Deja Vu, and I know, like, Aftershock at Silverwood is supposed to be really good. Stunt Fall is supposed to be really good. But Goliath in the form that it's in with those trains is just horrendous. And my mom even claims she got a um, concussion from that ride. So I definitely don't like that coaster. And then overrated coaster. Going back to the same park, Six Flags New England, I really think Wicked Cyclone is extremely overrated. Um, that might be an unpopular opinion, but I really find it to be pretty boring for an RMC. And it tends to do nothing. And the last question here is, any plans to visit Six Flags Great America in 2021? Yes, and you'll see that coming up in vlogs as well. Um, I'm going to Six Flags Great America somewhere in May and June, somewhere around there. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly right now, but yes, I will be going to Six Flags Great America at least once this year. I have another question from another guy you've seen on my channel, um, Expert Sniper 19 or my friend Curtis. He says, if you could design any coaster, what stats would it have? That's a pretty good question. That's a loaded question. Um, honestly, I don't know exactly what stats I would want on a coaster, but I know that I would want it to have multiple powerful launches. I really, really love when a coaster has really strong launches on it. Um, just like being pushed back into the seat and feeling you accelerating. It's one of the coolest feelings ever. Um, I would definitely have it be airtime focused. I know I'm not really giving stats, but I'm giving kind of what it would be like as a feel. It would be more airtime focused, probably with some good inversions. And as much as like Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City is like my favorite coaster, it's not my number one, but it's like my favorite experience on a coaster. I don't know if I put spinning trains on it or not, but that would definitely be a consideration. Basically, it would be similar to like, say, like an Intamin Megalite or Mach that was like launched and, you know, with powerful kind of like a blitz but yeah i that was a good question i really like that question and now now it is time for me to go through the first person to ask multiple questions these are all from youtube i have some questions later from instagram this is with angela now angela is one of my favorite channel angela has one of my favorite channels on youtube i love talking to her online and i can't wait to meet her someday at a park <laughs> angela i'm talking to you we need to meet up sometime and create you know a vlog together on both of our channels that would be great uh, but her first question is, when am I coming to The Great Escape? And I have no idea. But soon, because it's your home park. What has been my inspiration? I've had a lot of inspirations throughout the years, and I'm not exactly sure what she means by exactly by inspiration um, in particular here. I kind of talked about my inspiration for coming an enthusiast and for the channel. Honestly, uh, my brother is a pretty big inspiration to me. Um, you guys have seen him in some of my videos. He's handicapped, um, but he absolutely has no fear, and he loves roller coasters maybe even more than I do. Um, but he's not able to like learn all the names and stats and playing trips and all this like I am. So I love involving him and my family. All of my family loves riding roller coasters. So my brother's kind of an inspiration to me because you know he just he lives a happy life no matter what, and uh, and he's disabled. So like that's that's pretty inspiring to me. And now back to the less serious answers here. Another question from Angela: If you you had to marry a coaster which one would it be i don't know what marrying a coaster entails but i guess if i had to pick a coaster to marry yeah i don't know i said earlier that my favorite coaster was time traveler um even though it's not my number one overall i'm just gonna say time traveler next question also from angela what is your favorite dinosaur minus the parasaurophilus parasaurophilus is a good choice for dinosaur but personally, my favorite dinosaur is actually the Ankylosaurus. I just think they're really cute and they're badass with that like big whippy tail that like beats people up. I'll put a picture on screen so you know what I'm talking about. They're pretty cool. And um, I really love Velociraptors too, but I feel like that's kind of a you know common answer. So I'm trying to be uncommon with my answers. I'm trying to be unique. Another question from Angela. Have you ever ridden a horse? Yes, I have. Here's a video of me riding a horse a few years ago. Um, I have ridden a horse. I haven't like really ridden a horse like unassisted, but like I've, I've been on a few horses. Yeah. Another question from Angela. Uh, can you buy me ice cream? No, sorry. Yet another question from GP Angela. Um, for the ladies, are you single? That's classified information. Um, sorry to disappoint. 
And the last question I'm going to answer from its GP Angela is, do you know how to swim? And honestly, I don't know if this question was targeted or what, but I almost take offense to this question. I was a swimmer. Like I competed in the sport of swimming for 10 years of my life. Um, I started when I was eight years old and I swam all the way through when I graduated high school and I was pretty good at it. I'm not going to like brag and say it was like amazing because I was pretty average, but I was, I was good enough at it to where that was my thing. That was my sport. And, um, so I absolutely know how to swim. I was a lifeguard. Um, I'm good enough in swimming to save a lot of people's lives and I never, never have to worry about myself drowning in any way. So yes, I definitely know how to swim. So this next question here is actually from my mom. Um, she put, why don't you ever have any footage with your mom? She's a brave lady riding all those coasters at her age. Well, mom, I know that you've told me that you don't necessarily want to be in all of my videos. So there's that. Um, also, you have been in some of my videos and I would be glad to put you in more if you want to be. But if you don't want to be, that's fine too. I know that's kind of a, um, a silly question that you wanted to ask me, but um, there you go. There's your answer. So that concludes the portion of the video that goes over all of the comments on the video of the announcement of the Q&A. I also posted stuff on my story on Instagram to get some more questions in, and I have a few more here, um, so I'll be going through those now. This one's from Airtime Monkey on Instagram, and he asked, what are your top common mistakes when planning a coaster trip? And that's that's honestly a really good question. Um, Probably some mistakes I make are, you know, just making sure that they're, uh, you know, open and that all my timing is going to work out. And I, I'm not great at planning out when to eat and where, you know, where to stop along the way. Um, I, I usually plan these coaster trips that I have like extensively and it takes me like a very long time to plan through them, especially the longer ones. Um, but things I tend to skip on are I just... I tend to be really bad at making sure what time, uh, what times are going to work best for which parks being open. That would be probably the biggest thing. A question from Brad Moore on Instagram says, are you going to get your 400th coaster this year? And actually I am currently at 345 credits right before this Florida trip that I'm about to take. And, uh, yes, I will be hitting 400 this year should be somewhere around you know, June, I think. Um, and the goal is to make that either Fury 325 or Intimidator 305. One of those coasters that I have yet to get to, I'm planning to go to Carowinds and Kings Dominion this year for sure. I need to get to those parks, but likely it's going to be one of those. It could be something different as well, but that's the goal as of right now. I also might be hitting 500 coasters this year. Um, still, you know, we'll see about that. If I do, it should be on my Europe trip that I'm planning. Yes, I'm planning a Europe, Europe trip this year. And so ideally, I would hit 500 on that. But we'll have to see how the year goes. But yes, I will be hitting 400 this year. Obama Alert on Instagram asks, If there were ever a battle between Etan Reg Regnafak and me, who would win? So Etan Reg Rebnafak is actually um, from Instagram group chats. It's like an alter ego of me um, that does like all the opposite things I do with roller coasters. And um, honestly, who would win in a fight? Etan Reg Rebnafak. Reg Rebnafak is my name backwards and I have a really long name. So um, yeah, probably him, not me. Um, a question from Theme Park Empire on Instagram. If you were forced to ride only one coaster for the rest of your life, what would you pick and why? Oh man, this that is a really hard question uh, because there are so, so many good coasters out there. But man, the, this is really difficult. But honestly, and it might feel like a cop-out answer, I'm going to go with Time Traveler again. Or maybe actually a better answer for this one would be the ride to happiness, mainly because A, I haven't ridden that coaster yet and it, no one's ridden it yet. It's not completely done, but um, it is very similar to Time Traveler and Time Traveler I absolutely adore and I'm expecting the ride to happiness to be just a little bit better than that. Um, just something about the spinning, getting a unique experience every time just really makes me excited and you get some really cool um 
you get some really cool forces going through those elements. And so honestly, yeah, that, that one, because, you know, you get a unique experience every time still. Um, and you know, I just love those coasters to death. So that would be my answer. The ride to happiness, or I guess time traveler would be also be the other one from that intimate guy on Instagram, most anticipated coaster I'm riding this year. And oh my gosh, there are there so many coasters that I am anticipating riding this year. And I'm going to go off of new coasters for this year. I'm going to go off coasters that are opening in 2021 because I, if I went off of all, I wouldn't know what to start with. So I'm actually going to do a top five and this is in no particular order either because all of these coasters are really exciting. So for the U S what comes to mind is Iron Gwazi, Pantheon, and Velocicoaster. All of those roller coasters look to be absolutely outstanding, and I cannot wait to ride those. And they're opening soon, and I cannot wait for that. I'm planning trips to get there as soon as I possibly can to Florida and Virginia to get on all three of those. For Europe, I am planning a Europe trip this year, and I would have to say Conda, absolutely one of the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Wallaby Belgium, Conda, it looks absolutely amazing. And I mentioned Ride to Happiness. I'm super excited for that one. That one's going to knock my socks off, even though I'm prepared for it to knock my socks off. So those are five anticipated coasters I am excited to ride that are opening in 2021. So for the last group of questions here, um, it's all from another person. This is from Airtime Mike on Instagram. You guys probably know him from El Toro Ryan's channel. He's been on my channel before as well. Really awesome guy. Um, and he asked a few questions, so I'm going to go through um, all of his as well. So the first one we have here is what inspired my love for roller coasters? Now, I kind of talked about, you know, me riding Voyage a ton as a child and Thunderbird being built. But also I mentioned my brother, um, you know, just loving roller coasters. And to expand a little bit more on that, that's going to be my answer for this. Um, that's just something that he and I and my family can do together. And there's not always a whole lot of things that I can do um, with him and my family just because of his disability. So um, that really inspired me to really love roller coasters and it really got me into it um, just because it's something I can do with him and it's something I can do on my own and you know expand it and do the best I can on it. And it's something I can enjoy with him whenever we want to. So um, that's honestly uh, my love for roller coasters comes from him. And they're also super fun. And I'm an adrenaline junkie and they're a safe, safe way to have fun. The next question from Airtime Mike is, when did you decide to become a YouTuber? So this is slightly different from my YouTube question earlier. Um, when? Well, I decided in 2018 that I wanted to start doing coaster vlogs and become like a YouTuber in that sense. I hadn't actually seen any of El Toro Ryan's videos yet at the time. Um, but honestly, I saw other people making roller coaster content on YouTube and I thought, you know what, that's combining two of my interests, one that I used to have on YouTube and my coaster enthusiasm. And I'm like, you know what, that just sounds like a really fun time. So I went for it. His next question is, what is your dream job? And you know, this is a roller coaster channel. So, so obviously I would love for a full-time job doing this. Um, but realistically, I have some more dream job stuff in my mind. Um, I would love to actually design roller coasters. So I'm currently in school um, as a mechanical engineering major. I'm also minoring in electrical engineering. And honestly, I'm hoping that sets me up for a possibility to maybe apply to a few um, roller coaster manufacturer companies just, you know, just so I can, you know, get out there and design some roller coasters because I think that would be really awesome to have as a job. And that's one of my dream jobs. Basically, designing roller coasters would be my dream job. That would be amazing. But anything with engineering interests me. Um, also, if you've ever seen like those um, wind turbines out in the fields, I really am interested in those. So you know, working with those would also be really cool. But um, coasters is definitely the dream job. Um, Airtime Mike's next question is, which parks in the U.S. are you most interested to visit? So I'm going to go off what I haven't been to in the U.S. I mentioned Kings Dominion and Carowinds. Those are definitely at the very, very top of the list. Um, I've been waiting for five years now to try to go to Kings Dominion. And for some reason, I just still haven't gotten there. Um, I had hard set plans to go last year in 2020 and we saw how that went, you know, 
with COVID and King's Dominion never opening. And well, they did open in 2020, but like the whole park is like I-305 and Twisted Timbers didn't open in 2020. But um, that's those two are definitely at the top of the list. Um, some other parks in the U.S. that I'm really, really excited to go through, go to are Lagoon and Silverwood. Both of those parks look out look outstanding, and I'm excited to go to those. And other than those, basically all of the California parks, because I've yet to go to California for roller coasters, and I am really looking forward to going to like Magic Mountain, Knott's Berry Farm, California's Great America. Um, even Discovery Kingdom, which I've heard is not very great, I'm still looking forward to going there. And Disneyland in California, that would that would be awesome. So, you know, I've got a lot of parks in the U.S. I'm still looking to go to. The last question overall and the last question from Mike is, if you could move to a different state which coaster uh, for coasters, which state would you move to? Um, for roller coasters specifically, I think I would probably want to move to Texas. Because overall, they've got a really good collection. They're relatively in a decent area. And, you know, having a Six Flags Pass in Texas would go a really long way. Plus, you could have SeaWorld right there if you're in San Antonio. And plus, there's Boardwalk Bullet, which I absolutely love, Boardwalk Bullet. Um, and so Texas, I think, is just a really awesome um, state for roller coasters. And I think that would be my favorite one to live in. Florida would be a runner-up for that one. Um... Overall, what state do I want to move to? Although Texas is on top of my list, I do really like the Carolinas, North and South Carolina. And that would still give me Carowinds. I just feel like for roller coasters, Texas would be my number one option. All right, so that wraps up the Q&A. I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who left a question either on Instagram or on YouTube. Thank you guys very much um, for all the input. I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and been watching my videos and follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for all that you guys have done. Um, it really inspires me to keep going with this channel. I have a lot of fun with this, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying my content. Um, yeah, just thank you so much for 700 subscribers, and here's to the future where we hit, hopefully hit 1,000 this year. At least that's the goal for me for this year. One more thing before I wrap up this video, I do want to update you guys a little bit on the goings on with this channel. Um, I'm going to be going to Florida, actually like I'm leaving in the morning to go on a new Florida trip. And what that means for you guys is you guys are going to get some more content. I'm going to get to make some more videos at these parks, going to get to visit these parks with my family, and I'm going to get some more vlogs out for you guys. Now, hopefully this will carry me through to when I actually start going to parks again consistently. I'll try to have videos every weekend and occasionally on Wednesdays as well. Um, those will be less park related and more like the skits and stuff I'm trying to work on here in the future. So. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to my trip, getting more Instagram content with the pictures, getting more YouTube content with all my videos. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that as much as I am. Um, if you are, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that if you haven't already. And make sure you follow me on Instagram as well because I post a lot on there, mainly pictures of roller coasters, but I post a lot of updates on there too. Um, you can see live updates of when I'm in the park and all that, so definitely follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And um, basically, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.